But first, the city of Abilene working on a plan to get some of that water off the streets. But that means you could see a 5% increase on the stormwater portion of your water bill. K Texas reporter Nick Bradshaw joins us live in the studio to tell us where that money's going. Nick? Yeah, well, if you live in Abilene for just a few days, you know when it rains, well, it floods. That money would go to help street drainage. Here at the splash pad, as kids play, awesome. well, parents stress about water, but not what you might think. No, I'm from originally from California, and the drainage system that they have there is fabulous. It's water on the streets. Almost flooded my car out. It was scary. Savannah Runnels is stressing about future street yeah. flooding. Super scary. <laughs> When it rains, Abilene becomes more like a water park. Absolutely. It's bad. And I mean, it's ruining people's cars. So to help with construction, the city wants to raise your water bill 5%. For a family of four, that would be an estimated 24 cents. Now, not the water bill as a whole, but the storm drainage fee. If they do what they say they're going to do. The taxpayers will pay $150,000 a year. But they need around a million dollars to make it work. But our goal is to see how we can reduce the impact on the Abilene taxpayer. So the city says they'll look for grants and other ways to pay the remaining amounts. So this uh, increase will give us a good start in, st in some of uh, starting the design of some of these projects. And then the, the goal, if possible, is to see if we can get some federal dollars. If you think this will happen overnight, well, think twice. Crazy. Why would the streets be the drainage system? That makes no sense. It's a 25-year project. You can't afford to fix your car when it gets flooded out. So the kids slide and enjoy the water. Mom and dad looking for new routes when it rains. All right, city council will vote on that coming up in August. And if they vote yes, that could take effect on your bill in October. In the studio, Nick Bradshaw, K Texas News.